All right, we're gonna take modeling clay and make what's called a slab box. The way we're gonna do this is by making slabs and cutting them. So I've rolled this clay, flattened it, Pinch and turn. Anyway, you want to flatten it, somehow flatten it. Kind of smoothens out when I press it on a flat surface. And then I can use a ruler or a stick to cut it. into a square. Now, I have a flat slab that I can use for the bottom. I'll set that aside here. Take some more clay. Flatten it. Pinch it if I have to. Somehow make it flat enough that it becomes a slab. Then Cut it. This is going to be one of the sides, so I think right there will be good. So then I have one of my walls, and I'll put that on. Now, it kind of looks like a little laptop. What's really important is that I press and then rub in the seams so that we can't tell where it's joined. If I was doing this with ceramic clay, I'd put water in between the two and probably scratch it a little bit because what's really important is that these two separate pieces join in really good. So there you go. I have two sides joined together. I've rubbed them in really good need another side so again flatten things out helps to press it on a flat surface to get a really nice flat thing going cut one side take a look at it oopsie you mess up the nice thing about clay is you can always add more mend it by squishing and rubbing or doing whatever you have to so cut another side and the last side take a look to see how it fits eh, it's a little high I'll just shave it right there And now it fits just right. And if it doesn't, I can make it fit. So I've got these two together and I need to rub it so I don't see those lines. I will press it together. Makes a good fit. But now I'm rubbing it so we don't have these seams showing. And then I can push and pull to align the top or the bottom. I'm almost done. Just need two more sides. So let me set this down. Need another side.
almost done. Hang in there. Um, this will form a box, but we can also form a rectangle or a triangular box. Basically, any shape that has flat sides can be made. So, two more sides, almost done. So, I'm going to fit that right there. Cut right about there. All right. So, I formed another flat wall to slab. I'm going to put this one here. Push it in, push it in, push it in, and then, as always, we need to rub those seams together so that it makes a good fit and we don't see those seams. Now the nice thing about rubbing those seams is not only does it look better, it is stronger so that it doesn't fall apart. I pull and I pull and it's not going to fall apart. And that's really important when you go to make your ceramic one because we certainly don't want that falling apart and we want it to fire nice and strong. So all together to make a box you need a bottom and four sides. So it's a total of five slab sections that will make your box. Okay, so I need that spot. And I'll give you uh, popsicle sticks or we could use scissors to cut these edges and taking a look, looks good. I just need to cut one more cut. Flattening those sides by doing the old tap method. And then uh, put them in there. And if it's not big enough, just Flatten and squeezing it and then make it spread so that it fits real nice. If it's a little high on one side and low on the other side, we'll push one side down and squeeze the other side up. And then rub, rub, rub. Let's get those sides looking good. All right. And what's fun to do after you have your box done is you could make a lid for it, you could decorate the sides, and um, decorating the sides could be a matter of either doing little designs by pressing into the sides or you could take a tool and draw on the sides right mr. G or you could add stuff to the sides uh, but either way, it's all with the goal or the aim of decorating it, making it look even better. So here in this time, I'll just add and um, if you do add stuff, 
you got to press down hard and make sure it sticks on. Now, modeling clay is very forgiving. It'll let you stick stuff on and it'll hold on to them really good. But as I've told you many times, if you're ever doing this with uh, ceramic clay, you better be sure to add water and possibly score it. So there you go. That's the little cube box. And, and that's how you make it. So good luck with yours.